Tiwa Savage has come out to say she has deleted her sex tape from the internet and from all of our phones. <laughs> This is something that is coming on, on social media and a lot of people are really responding to that. Even Speed Darlington and a lot of others are speaking about that. When I saw her post on this particular issue, I quickly ran to the social media platforms to check and got reactions from a lot of persons. I went to some sites to check for the videos. They were still there. <laughs> Tiwa Savage. You know, the internet does not forget. That is something you need to understand. According to her, she said, My biggest fear about my S tape leaking was that my son might one day see it. But I got in touch with an IT expert who hacked the video from the internet and everyone's mobile device. Right now, you can't find it anywhere, even if you had it stored in your phone is gone <laughs> you know i think this is a stunt you know this is a stunt for her to promote maybe her work or her movie that is something i believe about that because she is working on a movie called water and gary and that movie is already getting a lot of build-ups and i feel that tiwa savage is trying to use this to promote that movie but you need to understand that this is a wrong PR right now and a lot of people are not really comfortable with this kind of PR that Tiwa Savage is pulling off on social media a lot of persons have forgotten your S tape and right now you want to remind everybody of your S tape <laughs> how can you delete your S tape from our phones that is the question I'm really asking even some sites they still locked it down and they have it all trending out when you check some nigerians x video site you will get to see tiwa savage says tape and that is really disturbing at the time and a lot of people are saying this is a kind of stunt or pr at the time i believe that tiwa savage should have allowed this to cool down and allow everybody to forget about it that is a big mistake on her part and reminding us of these things is really really disturbing and i think her management needs to caution her and put her in a place right now your papa davido is telling a particular producer that came out to allege that yes he produced your work for davido he produced um you know better time for davido and he only got five hundred thousand naira for that production and davido got furious about it and said your papa on x that is really trending to an extent because a lot of people they don't look back when they want to drag you out i feel that yes if you want to make a substantial statement about this you should make it through your lawyers rather than dragging an artist on social media and then infuriating them what are your own takes about this i want you to put it in the comment section what you feel about this story so far especially that of tiwa savage at a point like this artists are rich in africa i felt a little broke when i went around or when i came around uh, the video and all this kind of thing that is coming in from chris brown and saying that when you see artists in nigeria buying all those lamborghini all those uh, euros and the rest you will get to understand that they paid for it outright and when you see artists buying it in us most of them are paying for it monthly that is something you need to understand about the whole thing are you saying that nigerian artists are super rich or are you saying they are richer than you guys that is the question many people are really raising and some people feel that that is a kind of exaggeration because the lives of drake could cannot be compared to the lives of whiskey david o and bonner but that is one thing we are really getting to understand about the big feet right here this is owing to the size of music industry and the size of contents being sold in us that is something you need to understand about that the structure of your music industry has given you guys ahead or a leverage to stay ahead of nigerian artists although we are really coming up that is something i kind of understand but the last of davido is quite different about the whole thing because davido came from a billionaire's background and davido was already rich before doing music that is something we need to actually understand 
about the whole thing. What is your own take about this? I want you to put it in the comment section and talk about it so that we can get to understand you guys better. Do you feel that Chris Brown is saying the fact about you know African artists? I want you to talk about it in the comment section because we need to talk about this topic. This is not the first time I'm hearing this. I heard it from Akon. I heard it from a lot of uh, American artists. But right now, Chris Brown is saying the same thing because, you know, coming around the video, he felt he's broke because of what the video has actually achieved or, you know, acquired over the years. Whiskey's made in Lagos album re-enters B-Boss World Album Chart. That is a big one for Whiskey and a big celebration for the camp of Whiskey. A lot of people are saying that Whiskey's made in Lagos album is the biggest album of Whiskey until uh, now and some people are saying that whiskey cannot match up with the album based on the quality of songs in that album and based on the statuses that album was able to reel out within a short period of time what is your own take about that what do you feel about that and then i wanted to say something about whiskey announcement of his sixth studio album called Morayo, and a lot of people are really comfortable with the uh, name while some other persons are saying hope whiskey will surpass you know made in lagos album that is the hope of many people in the camp of whiskey some persons are already offering advice to whiskey to promoting this album like he did to made in lagos album what is your own take about that david office choma's designer's bags with loads of dollars ahead of her 30th birthday in april that is something making some people red-eyed at a point like this some ladies are really i read it <laughs> that is what is trending and a lot of people are really talking about it and saying that they cover choma with the protection of god because right now some people don't like choma's davido's relationship based on uh, the luxury things that Choma is enjoying in that relationship. Some people have offered Choma's advice to leave the video alone for serial cheating and all those kind of things. Why some persons are saying if they were Choma, they won't leave the video alone. What is your own take about that? It's going to be lavish for Choma at 30. That is something I feel about. When the video made this announcement on social media, he was quickly attacked by somebody posting a video of uh, davidos being funny and captioning it with a different mindset that trended for a while and right now davido is saying my wife choma i'm going to celebrate you at 30 because we've been through a lot somebody is asking right now when last did uh whiskey went on stage to get his awards whiskey is hardly present at award ceremony that is what a lot of persons are really discussing about right now what do you feel that is going on in the mind of whiskey because recently whiskey ranted on social media said i'm not an afrobeat artist and don't call me that but right now a lot of people are feeling that whiskey is tired of this afrobeat awards wants to compete in other genre and then make do with it what is your own take about that i want you to put it in the comment section so that we can talk about it further before i jump off i want to say thank you guys for watching our videos and thank you for the love so far if you are new here you can click the subscribe button below the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos